All right, you guys, welcome back to the table. And then, with Santa Cruz, something to see. Jay, well, how was that, man? That was a great day of our seeing, with a great day of ladies and gentlemen that came out in all their rigs along the San Mateo County coastline, and we had a great time. There's some superstars out there, like RC Girl. That was really cool to hang out with her. Um, Francis, my man over there mm -hmm. from RC Reviews. Most of all, double portion. This guy, he's a beast out there with his man, Dan Thompson, man. These guys are pushing the line. And man, we got to have some fun with a bunch of great people that also showed up. Man, I wish I could name everyone, but there was so many of y'all. But I had to give a big shout out to Rich from Double Portion. He's the Thank one who you. actually put that together. You know, I hope we get to do more of those in the future because it was great. We didn't put up no cones. It was a find a line, crawl a line. You know what I'm saying? Everyone was doing their thing. Everyone was having fun, sharing their knowledge. I mean, it was dope, Jay. Yeah, it was dope. It definitely was a great day in RC. Humble, man. I can't believe that many people came out to hang out with Highway 1 RC. Thank you. And the off one crawlers. With that said, here we go, man. The review on the deadbolt, man. Yeah. We all got together and we got this for Jay, man. Thank you, y'all. I appreciate it. You see, I went to town on it. Uh, I've been driving it. It's my newest rig. I never had an SCX-10 II before. And uh, it's an awesome rig. So uh, anyone out there that got one? Or also a first gen, let me tell you what y'all should do. What I noticed the big difference on it. It's a free mod. Thank you to Harley Designs. Check his tutorial on it. He'll put a link underneath. So it's a free upgrade of just moving the rear shocks forward. I'll let him describe it all. That's a long story short. But it brings your capabilities up, like your flex, and it even helps the front suspension work better. So that's free. Do that first. This one also got, thanks to Nick Moore from Nick Moore Performance, some hot racing 15 millimeter wheel spacers to give it a little more footprint on the trail. Also keep it more stable, less likely to tip over. Um, unfortunately, the first day out, we took three of these out, three deadbolts out the first day. My steering servo and ESC both went out. Uh, it happened, it's electronics. You know, it didn't go through water, it didn't get dropped. It just, it happened. The other two are still good till this day. My bad luck kicked in, those things went out. Thankfully, we got Nick Moore Performance around. He donated a hobby wing motor and ESC for a while that I tuned and got into play. Not to my liking, though. First person to email us saying, I want a hobby wing ESC and motor. It's censored, brushless. You can have it for free. We'll, we'll mail it to you. Just say you're emailing about that. Got the email. So uh, that motor went in, time went on. Pulled it out, thanks to Nick Moore Performance again. Donated a 55 turn axle motor with a Hobby Wing ESC. How do you like a 55 turn? I like it. Uh, this is one of those motors you're gonna have to be around wheeling for a minute before you might like or uh, become accustomed to, because it doesn't have a lot of wheel speed. If you're just about wheel speed, it's not for you. But as time goes on, you'll mature and realize crawling isn't about going fast. So this is the, one of the torquiest motors out there, the highest, one of the highest turns many above it. 55 is pretty high and uh, I respect it for what it is. It's different than all my other rigs and I'm not planning on taking it out anytime soon for more wheel speed. Uh, the other thing that got changed on this for more capability, wheels and tires. Got the weights in the wheels and uh, TS TSL Swampers from uh, Proline on here. These are good tires. I like them. They keep the skill appearance to the rig and also a lot of painting went on. Besides that, the rig is pretty stock. And uh, the capability, I suggested for $300 in this first free mod you could do, thanks to Harley Designs, you're gonna have one heck of a rig out of the box, I guarantee you. You will be surprised, and it will surprise people as well. Any dislikes about the product? Nope. Uh, Axel's the one that got me into wheeling. And if it wasn't for that product, we honestly wouldn't be here. That's thanks to Josh from Sheldon's Hobbies in San Jose. Let me test drive a Wraith out there one day. And thank you, brother, because that day pulled me in, and he led me on the way to get more scale through the way, too. Shout out, Josh. We appreciate it, man. If it wasn't for that day, we wouldn't be here. And thanks to Axel, too, because they put a product out that's for the consumer, for the hardcore RC person that's not going to fail on you, even though electronics did. But don't worry about that. The rig is great. Uh, we've seen James take what? A three, three stories. Straight down. Dented the body, it looks cool. All I did was broke a plastic link. At the very weakest point, and he snapped it back in place, and 
wheeled the rest of the day. So for a rig that could do that, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about this. I have, this is my third SCX-10, my first SCX-10 too. Uh, I also have axle rate. And our, you know, you see how we get down. We got axles all day. It's because of a reason. This truck still hold king crown around us because for the simple fact of the clearance, as you can see with that bumper right there, this just this bumper is the reason why out of the box, we as a team believe this truck is the baddest truck out there out the box. This is not, we're talking about not taking anything off or not putting anything on. Now, you know, you could take the uh, bumpers off the TRX4 Bronco and it'll hang with this thing because those things get hung, the back gets hung, the, the front drags, but just this bumper, this plastic bumper makes this thing a beast. And for $100 less, look, you got that same platform right there. Still get a 10-2, you know, a lot of different axles, mm -hmm. but it's the same frame, the same electronics. Yeah, still the 10-2, transmission, links. Well, metal, metal links on this thing. But I mean, th these are okay. little things, these are little things. But I mean, uh, you heard it from Jay, man. Jay's been in this hobby for a long time, man, and, and, and he loves it. Are you getting rid of it anytime soon? No way, brother. Come <laughs> so on. So with that said, hey, you're going to see that truck at Axial Fest, man. All right? Check us out. We hope to see you guys on the trail. Anything you want to leave them out with, Jay? I can't stress this free mod enough. I can't stop thanking Harley Designs because he put out a very good piece of information for people out there. Long story short, if you're tipping a lot, do this, and your rig's going to... Have that suspension handling underneath while everything stays on steady top and uh, you'll see this suspension work you'll see the front suspension work harder when you do this free mod so do that and go have fun see you guys later